Do you remember last month when Logan, like this film, came out? Well, at the time I was busy and up back and do this, but today we're going to be having a look at the top five Wolverine films. Let's begin. First, I'd like to say that this is not in random order. Well, this is in random order, so it's not in a set order. But um, these Wolverine films were also included of the X-Men as well, including the bad ones and the not so bad ones. Now, number five, X-Men Origins, The Wolverine. Most people say that this is a film that they don't really like and some people will say that they like it. I'm one of the ones who like it. I don't really much like the Thicked character. I feel like he's kind of like a clone of the Wolverine. But, apart from that, the storyline, I think it's quite good. I wouldn't say this is bad, but I would say that don't let your opinions... If you have like a... If you like and then don't let your don't let other pin don't let other people's opinions change that. So in this film is basically the origin story of Wolverine, of how it started from when he goes cross, from when he was a child, to fighting along war war when he with his brother and then after that becoming enemies as well. Um, we see at the end that um, I believe it's called Charles Xavier comes and saves the other mutants and Wolverine loses his memory but he survives. He he lives on as I would say. Number four, X-Men. In this film you do see Wolverine and from what I remember watching it it starts out with this character. Basically, it's his journey to the X-Men and then what happens after. He meets a couple of people, he does, and he fights alongside them. And that's pretty much all I know. Number three, X-Men 3, The Last Stand. In this one, Wolverine is basically, at the end, is forced to kill the one thing she has loved so much again and then everyone of course is safe. Most of the X-Men are dead, they are, because of Jean Grey and from this this kind of leads the offence from other Wolverine films going down to Days of Future Past. And speaking of Days of Future Past, number two, X-Men Days of Future Past. In this one, the world has been taken over by these by these robot alien objects that have been destroying the world and mutants as it is, including the good and the bad ones, where now they have to team up together to destroy them, but it's not as simple. Wolverine has to go back in time with his consciousness to, to go back in time and make sure this does not happen, which they do succeed at the very end and everybody lives. So. Yeah, you think they would die at the end, but everyone lives, which is a happy ending. I saw this one and I was like, I think 14 or 15. I had my eyes out because I thought they And at number one, we can't leave without saying Logan. I'm not so sure if I've seen it now, um, up until the point of this video being uploaded. But from what I know, this is the story where it all ends, it does. You've seen the beginning and then you'll see how it ends. Where we also meet this another kid who is also a mutant like Wolverine. Wolverine, um, I mean Logan and Charles helps this girl and eventually, I'm not too sure what actually happens but Wolverine saves everyone and dies in the memory of that he was fantastic he was so if you enjoyed this i'm not too sure they're ever going to do another logan or wolverine 
type of a film or something TV or video game again considering that this is supposed to be the end but I've got to say there are probably more stories um, telling the offence before Logan and other films as well but yeah again you can't always be making too much or otherwise you never get time to do the stuff that you really want to so yeah I bet there'll be more X-Men films, but it's Baba to Hugo Jenkin. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I originally wanted to do a top 5 Disney films, but instead I wanted to do this one. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to give it a like if you like this. Check out videos here and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.